If you liked 22 Jump Street, you're going to like this movie. That's all I really got to say. So we're talking Baywatch. I was really excited for this movie. Honest to God, I had it in my top 10 of the year because I'm a huge fan of Zac Efron. I think the guy is a tremendous actor. When he's doing a parody of himself, he's making fun of the cliches of somebody who is like him and who has become him. I think that's when he shines. And of course, Dwayne Johnson is just perfect in anything he does. He's one of the best actors we have working today. This movie was all right. I I wasn't blown away by anything I really saw. I think at times the comedy wasn't perfect and that is a big flaw in this movie for me was at times the dialogue and the narrative and just the writing and the way things were approached and done it didn't feel real it didn't feel good at all and there's that element of everything in Baywatch where it doesn't have to feel real because it's a serialized thing this is an over dramatic representation of being a lifeguard to look sexy and stunning and all this beautiful stuff going on these gorgeous people these gorgeous people but you have to make it compelling to watch too. And I didn't feel this was compelling or that interesting. Zac Efron, he did decent. Like I said just a couple seconds before, I'm a huge fan of Zac Efron. I really do respect and love the guy as an actor. And there were some good elements with him in here. And I think the elements that work with him are when he's not playing an asshole or or a jerk because you can see the sensitivity in Zac Efron's performance at some times, and that's when he shines. And I don't think we give the guy enough credit as an actor. And he was, was he the best part of this? At times, he was the only part I really liked. Dwayne Johnson was great. Of course, he just he's just doing his own thing. And that kind of took me out of the movie, too. Dwayne Johnson has reached this presence where every time you see him, he's above and beyond. And it just takes you out of the movie, as it did for me in this, where it's just like, yeah, that's Dwayne Johnson. I don't believe he's Mitch Buchanan. He's just here. He's just Dwayne Johnson. That's all he is. He can't be a character taken over that he took over from David Hasselhoff. It just doesn't work. And it it uh, it, it fell flat, that aspect. The new cast, I don't know, that the weird fat kid who's supposed to be the comic relief, he's not going to be the next big thing, I can tell you that right now, he did fine. Uh, the other characters were good, the female representation was strong, but it also lacked a bit, because I don't really think they were the lead or the focus, and I really wish some of them were. Alexandra Daddario, she was g- good, she was good, but again, she didn't do anything, her character didn't have any motive or purpose. But I have to give props to Priyanka Chopra. I'm a huge fan of hers. I think she's a great actress. She was probably the best part of this movie for me because I just fell in love with everything she did. And the actor that played the cop, I can't remember his name, he's going to play Black Manta. If I'm not mistaken, I think it's him playing Black Manta in the Aquaman movie. You're funny. I'd love to see you do something big, so that's really exciting to see. This movie, it wasn't terrible. The action was gorgeous. The sets were gorgeous. But the story, the characters, none of it was compelling or interesting enough to keep you going forward with a lot of stuff happening. And at times, this is kind of a criticism and it's also kind of something I'm going to give this movie credit for is it felt a lot like Baywatch at times. I haven't watched the full, you know, seasons. I've seen a lot of Baywatch Nights and I really hope if there's a sequel, they're going to go the Baywatch Nights route. That'd be hilarious, but... They did capture a lot of what it is of Baywatch from the original show, and I think that's really good, but at times it really hinders everything you're seeing because you know it's overdramatic and it's not realistic or good representation. And if you like that kind of stuff, again, this is a lot like 21 Jump Street. That's the vibe they wanted to go for, and I could completely see that happening. It's not a bad movie. It just didn't feel real to me as much as I wanted it to, and I know Baywatch isn't supposed to feel real, but at times, it didn't feel as grounded as the original thing, and it kind of faulted the movie, so I'm going to give Baywatch a 60%, it's good, it's not great, but if you like that kind of stuff, you're gonna like it, and maybe you just think you want a good laugh, but you know, as somebody who is an, I'm not gonna say I'm a movie reviewer, but I'm somebody who is a connoisseur, maybe, of film, I want something more from this, And I want some more respect for the original property. Uh, Yeah, Hasselhoff and Anderson are in this, so there you go. But Hasselhoff will do anything for a paycheck. Just look at him in the Sharknado franchise. Perfect franchise, by the way. So that's all I got. We're going to end things on Sharknado. So yeah, there's my Baywatch review. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Good luck.